it's, it's how it contributes. It's a representation of the culture, in my opinion. And each, there's so many artists on Guam, and each one of them has like a different aspect of what they view the culture as and how they express it in their art. And this is just another expression of another, I guess, Chamorro or Guamanian, whatever you want to say. And, uh, if this is his explanation of his culture. He's able to tell a story in a very abstract way that I believe captures a lot of who he is and what he represents, meaning history and culture. Um, his titles alone provoke really deep thoughts and then when you look at the pieces, um, it's really, really powerful. The one thing that I really love about abstract work is that when I paint it, I'm attempting to, to create a story with the imagery. I'm trying to convey a message, or I'm trying to convey chaos. But it's not up to me what you see. You know, I give it a title. I say that there's something there that I intended or that I want there to be. But when you see the artwork, it's really up to you to come up with your own message, to come up with your own story. Most people will look at it and they, they won't recognize anything and they'll get put off. They'll say, oh, this is, this is nothing. It doesn't look like anything. But some people will look at it and they'll make a really strong connection. Because there'll be an image, a shape, a figure, a color. It's not that you necessarily see what I see, but that you, you look at it and you make sense of your, you make your own sense of the chaos. Guam art is so important. And it, it's really sad that it's not more supported. Because, especially from a tourist standpoint, if you're trying to be a tourist market, then you need every way that you can to come up with, you know, to to establish your own identity as a place, as a market. And so art is one of those ways that you do that. Is that people buy a piece of art here and they take it somewhere else. It sits in the room, everybody else sees it, and that represents Guam in those people's lives. It sells, it sells you, it promotes you. And so original Guam art in more traditional indigenous forms, such as shell, you know, shell jewelry, and carving and so on, those are important, but also more contemporary arts, like painting. They're very important because it's really nice, you know, what, if you really want Guam to be a memorable tourist market, you need to make art that people can take with them. Because that's what lasts. It's, it's great, you know, that people go on a jet ski or they, they parasail, or, you know, they go on a banana boat. Like, those things are really nice, and that's what a lot of tourists enjoy about Guam. But if you really want to sell Guam, you need to give them something creative, something aesthetically pleasing, something that they'll take with them. And then, you know, and then you've established a link to them. You know, they will bring them back and say, like, this is, this is Guam. But that's, so that's why original Guam art to me is very important. It's just, but even for ourselves, even for ourselves, you know, a good, strong, healthy community is in touch with its creativity.